So let's get started. Picking your character, um, there's not a whole lot to go on here. This is purely about playing with hair colors and skin colors and all of those sorts of things. How much you want to do that is entirely up to you. It's it does show up in the game, but it's not particularly important. I'm going to make this one, let's see. There's, yeah, not a huge range of colors. I was looking for more of a ginger, but no such luck. Anyway, uh, Bob the Builder. Why not? So, I was just talking about the Shenzhen visa rules. So, if you place your airport in Europe, um, like I say, with the Shenzhen visa rules enabled, all of Europe is treated as a single country. Um, and you'll see here there are 554 domestic airports in the region. It doesn't tell you how many international airports are within flying distance, but it's the domestic airports in region that becomes relevant. So long as you play in this region, you will have many, many domestic flights available and very few international flights available. If you were to pick, say, oh, somewhere out here in India, 53. 454, 53. There's a very big difference. England is not treated as part of the European Union. I'm a little curious to know if that happened before or after Brexit, <laughs> but hey. Um, yeah, it's just something to be aware of. If you're playing with realistic international stands, this number is actually quite important. Right. Uh, for today's tutorial, I'm going to pick... Ooh, where am I going to pick? Somewhere over in Asia. There we go. So only three domestic terminals here. That's really small. It's going to give me lots of international flights. And for the way I like playing, that's going to be appropriate. So, we're nearly ready. We just need to give our airport a name, and an IATA code, and pick a logo. Again, this really doesn't have any great impact on anything, it's just a bit of fun. Right, you have the option of playing in sandbox mode, which has a lot of optional rules. I wouldn't recommend it for a tutorial, I would recommend if you're playing this for the first time just leave that switched off, leave large maps switched off and leave the airport management mode on easy. If you do go with the sandbox you've got some settings here such as unlimited funds, disable the economy, disable construction simulation which is probably the favourite of all of them. Um, all projects unlocked, etc, etc, etc. I won't go into that too much detail. Once you've played for a couple of hours, you'll understand what these all mean without even having to really think about it. Okay, I am not playing in sandbox mode today. I'm going to get started and we'll see the loading screen. And this is what I was talking about before. This can take a while to occur, so I'll meet you in the actual game, and we'll go on to the next video at that point.